Ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching Bedford with this train terminates. All change please here at Bedford. We're leaving the train here. Please make sure you take all your luggage and your personal belongings with you. It's Tuesday, the 5th of November, and I've got a Thameslink train uh, to start my adventure today to Bedford. However, I'm just going to walk 15 minutes down the road from Bedford Main Station to Bedford St John's Station. There's the railway. There's the entrance sign. So this is the entrance. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping my... Oh he is, my companion's hiding in the shelter. <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody say hello to Ian. Ian, what are we doing? We're doing the new least used station in Bedfordshire. Oh yes, best thing. How are you enjoying your uh, How are you enjoying your old London Underground trains, Ian? Wonderful. <laughs> We're back on the Master Vow line, which is of course the D train, the class 230, the old district line stop. Uh, so we've got on to St John's. Yep. On purpose, just because I wanted to come here. One stop to Kempston Hardwick. And you're a Bedford local. Yes. So I've employed local knowledge. So when we get to Kempston, you're going to tell me about everything oh, Bedford. Everything you want to know. Like the history of Bedford. And stuff you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kempston Hardwick. You brought the weather. Sick of this weather. <laughs> Welcome to the portion of the show that I like to call Ian from Bedford. Ian, you're from Bedford. Yes. How long have you lived in Bedford? Uh, since the early seventies. How long have you? How much have you travelled on this line? Not much, to be honest. You've never got out of Kempston Hardwick before. Nope. So this is this is the first view. This is the first. For Are me, you excited? Yes. <laughs> Thrilled. <laughs> I, Ian, you have immediately found the onward travel information poster, which is always a good thing to see what's in the local area. Uh, we're here. The local hamlet just down the road is down this way, it's about 250 metres. And then there's the car auction place as well, so I imagine there's a bit of traffic that goes to that. So, why is the station here? It was built in 1905 a bunch, with a bunch of other railway stations, uh, mainly Holtz. A bit of a chicken and egg thing. We don't know if it's because the rail car that, that had been developed was coming in and they decided to take advantage of it by putting a halt here, or the halt was here and the rail, motor rail vehicle took advantage of that. But it was all at ground level. The, the reason it's so ramshackle in appearance is because it was only ever a halt at, at the best of times. Is that, is that an angle? Is that why it's staggered because of the angle of the road here? Bedford St John's didn't have a ticket machine, did it? It didn't. We just, we just had to buy tickets. To add to the stats, we just bought Bedford St John's to Kempton Harbick Returns. We did. But Kempton Harbick does have a ticket machine, albeit out of service. But do you know what this is? This looks new. Not familiar to me at all. It, it's got to be their smart ticketing system, mm -hmm. but it's not in use yet. Okay. Oh, hang on. We've mentioned the ticket machine, because I, cause I can see the help point. Is it too soon? Should we, should we just go straight into facilities? Yes. What facilities <laughs> does Kempston Harbick have, Ian? Well, we have the ticket machine that's not working. We have a help point. A dot matrix. Is there a bike rack? There is something... The unused easy access ramp is being used as a bike rack at the moment, but it doesn't look like it, no. Is there a payphone? Didn't see one. Did is there you? a car park? There's no car park. Is there a waiting room? Well, there's a waiting thing. <laughs> Are you putting it a waiting thing? <laughs> why is platform, just notice, why is platform one half the length of platform two? Platform two has been extended. Mm. Do we know why? Not off the top of my head, no.
Well, that was unexpected. That's the 12.33 leaves. Yeah. Three people got off. Three. Hang on. Uh, totally unexpected. <laughs> That's bumped it up a bit. Also, the sun has come out. The weather gods have gone, let's, let's return. I'm considering taking my big winter jacket off. I think what that means is that the three people is a perfect cue to go and discuss passenger figures. Sounds good. You've got the numbers, right? We've made signs and everything. It's so exciting. <laughs> Very high tech. <laughs> Before we do anything, we need to acknowledge, we do have to acknowledge that there's a sign above Ian's head. <laughs> It says train stop along further along the platform, and hilariously, someone's written if they turn up. All the trains have turned up today. They've done all right. They've today. done all right today. Uh, can, you, can we get your bag out of shot? That might be distracting. Can we yes, kind of sure. can we? Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> You've brought me tea cakes. Yes. If, yeah. if you come on the Lease You Station video with me, always bring tea cakes. Always that's, tonics. That's now the rule. Yes. That's the new rule. <laughs> right, that's a snack later. It's something else we have to acknowledge. Yes. This is the, the new Least New Station in Bedfordshire. Yes, One yeah. of my most popular favourite videos that people always talk about on the channel is when me and my friend Dan, Dan yeah. and the guitar were the Aspley guys, the Least New Station, and the link is here. In Bedfordshire is Aspley guys. Well, at least it was, it was a couple of years ago. And then things changed. What what happened? New, new figures come out, right? New figures come out. Okay. You're gonna have to figure out why they changed the way they did. And so two years ago, it might have been three years ago, Aspley Guys was definitely had was beat Campster Harbick by having less passengers. But yes, in the is. last year's figures, Aspley Guys for the 2017 to 18 period was on nine eight six two passengers. And like, this is exceedingly close, and the same batch of new figures. What happened here at Kempston Hardwick? Kempston Hardwick. <laughs> 9840. 9840. So by 20 passengers less, yeah. less Kempston Hardwick became the new least used station in Bedford. Yes. By 20. By 20 people. How many, do we know how many per day that is? Have you done your 365 division? Yeah, yeah. Go on. 26.96. Tell me some about the local history, because in the distance I know there's a couple of chimneys, there's, there's old brickworks here, yep. and this is Kempston Hardwick, but Kempston sort of village itself is up that way. It is. With like 19,000 people and a big retail park. Yep. Doesn't get a station. Surely it, it would be more useful if the station was a mile that way up the line. So it does. what's 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 going on? <laughs> it's, it's um an odd situation, really. Um, Kempston Hardwick here was originally built in 1905 as a halt okay. to serve the local hamlet, and it was reprieved really um, by 1928 by the opening of Eastwood's brickworks over here. So there used to be a major brickworks over there? Yeah, just over here. So what are those two chimneys down that, that way for? They are what is left of four chimneys that were the coronation brickworks, which was the larger brickworks around Stuartley. Yeah. But, but, but it is just a mile in that direction. There is that, there is that huge retail park. Yes, it is, it, yeah. There's like shops and a cinema and a... Yeah. So why... If, if, if the station was there, as a Bedford local, as a Bedford local, as a Bedford local, do you feel the pain of Kempston not having an actual station? I do now because of that retail park. There's a lot of um, traffic out there. I've actually walked there myself on occasions as well as driven, and it's uh, it would probably benefit from a local halt. It did have one back in 1905. So there was another station up that there way. There was, yeah. There's now an abandoned. Yep, Kempston and Elstow halt. I didn't know that. Yep. No way, I didn't, I didn't check my Adel's Drop disused yeah. map before I came out this morning. <laughs> well, there has been a move and there have been petitions to get another station opened up there specifically to, to feed that. Okay, because we're on the Marston Vale line, there's, there's a strong community rail presence. There is, yeah. Do, do you ever, have you ever been to Regimont and the tea rooms and the delightful tea rooms? Sadly not yet. You should totally do that Ian. Absolutely. What I are am. you doing at the weekend? I feel I'll like... <laughs> get your, get I should your, be there. Get, I'll do the park run. You, you, do your Bedford <laughs> park run. Park run, and then go to the tea rooms in the afternoon. That's a, that's a perfect Saturday. It is, isn't it? What more can you ask? Yeah. In fact, I bought you some tea cakes <laughs> to, um, to take to the. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? We come back over the crossing the other side because we mentioned the bikes are locked up over there, and that was on some kind of ramp. And we noticed on that side and on this side, at some point, someone started to build an accessible ramp, but it's now barriered off here and it's blocked at the platform as well. So has that ever been in use or was it abandoned mid-construction, mid do we think? It's difficult to say, isn't it? What? Same on the other side, isn't it? Alright, 
that is the 1308. Heading for Bletchley. Which means we got about 20 minutes until our train goes back on the other side. <laughs> you're like your Usain Bolt, you're, you're at the starting line, you're ready, you're ready to go. You're desperate to measure the platform, aren't you? Is this, is this why you came, really? This is, you're like, this is what I'm living for. You're living for the, the how many feet? So I'm going to go to the end and position the camera, and then we'll just... Uh, we'll do it. I'll give you a 3, 2, 1 shout out from that end. Ian, in 3, 2, 1, measure. Hundred and seventy one to there. Is that usable? Is that the end of the line? I think it's usable. Well, you're a dilemma because there's a white line here and you're saying it's a hundred and... Hundred and seventy one Ian feet. It would be like three feet more to get to the actual edge. And now you're onto the wooden slats. Yeah. All right. 174. Good to know. What's that translating to Vicky feet? Uh, there'll be some uh, mathematical formula on screen now <laughs> that will allow for easy conversion. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot to do the timetable. All you need to know, it's, it's hourly. It's and hourly. no Sunday service. Concur? No Sunday service, correct. And no bank holiday service either. Mm. Come in. Um, something you'll have to give us away. Something hilarious has just happened. We were just talking about Ridgemont and the tea rooms and all the people that work there. We've got on the train home, and they're over there right now giving us a wave. The guys from Ridgemont are here. Uh, so you're now going to go to the to the museum this afternoon. Yes, sir. But that's it. That is Kempton Harbick. That is the new least used station in Bedfordshire. However, today is November the fifth. The new figures from the office around the road are out in about a month's time. So can you can you keep an eye out for me? Is I'm will, on it. will it be Aspley? Will it be Kempston? M might it be something else? Right. Thanks very much. Bye in. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye in. <laughs> <laughs>